Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check a couple of products from Beta FPV and a lightweight 5 inch frame by Envision. In this video I'm going to test the Beta FPV A02 video transmitter along with the latest F7 all-in-one flight controller which I've shown you on a separate video. Bench test the Beta FPV 2004 3000 and 1700 kV motors. And finally assemble all these parts on this new Envision frame and head outdoors and test them out. Let's start with the A02 VTX. In terms of specs, it supports 40 channels, features TBS Smart Audio Protocol, has a selectable output strength of 25, 200, 500, and 800 milliwatts, features an onboard microphone, an MM6 antenna connector. Connecting the VTX to the flight controller is done either using a JST connector or using soldering pads which are located on its button and mounting it on top of your stack is done using these three M3 25.5x25.5mm mounting holes. In addition, the A02 VTX weighs 5.7 grams and 7.4 grams including the bundled Air MMCX antenna. Now I've got the VTX connected to the flight controller using this JST connector and the FPV camera is going to be connected using the camera, plus 5 volts and ground pads on the bottom of the VTX. Setting up the frequency and output strength of the VTX is done either using this button, however the easiest method to configure it is using the TBS Smart Audio feature and the relevant Betaflight VTX table is included down below. Now let's measure the output strength of the VTX. When it is set to 25 milliwatts, I'm getting about 20 milliwatts. On 200 milliwatts, I'm getting about 105 milliwatts. On 500 milliwatts, I'm getting about 530 milliwatts. And finally, when it is set to 800 milliwatts, I'm getting over 900 milliwatts. So the Beta FPV A02 video transmitter is one of the most powerful options for a 2 pixel drone, but keep in mind that when it is set to 500 or 800 milliwatts, it's going to emit a lot of heat, so don't mount it too close to the flight controller. Moving on to the Beta FPV 2004 motors, they're available in two KV options. 1700 kV which supports up to 6S batteries on a 5 inch lightweight setup and 3000 kV which is the one that I'm going to test in the flight footage and supports up to 4S batteries. The weight of the motor including the full length of the 10 cm long 24 gauge silicon coated wires is 16.5 grams. The diagonal distance between the motor mounting holes is 12 mm. The motor bell is secured using a C clip. And here you can see what it looks like after separating it from the stator. Inside the motor bell you can find 14 magnets which is something that you need to pay attention to in case you're going to use Betaflight's RPM filters. And in addition the diameter of the stator is 20 mm and its height is 4 mm. Moving on to the Envision Gerados 5 inch lightweight frame. The wheelbase of this frame is 230 mm. It features a wide X pattern. The thickness of each replaceable carbon fiber arm is 5 mm and its width is 8 mm. The thickness of the bottom and middle carbon fiber plates which secure the arms is 2.5 mm. It supports only toothpick style 25.5 by 25.5 mm stacks. And it comes with a 3D printed TPU canopy that will enable you to secure the antennas of your radio receiver and video transmitter and a nano sized FPV camera. The weight of this frame is 84 grams, so there are lighter options in the market. However, most of them are not going to be as durable as this one. Since I've already crashed it, I can tell you that even though the carbon fiber parts are pretty durable, you should make sure to protect the bottom parts using 3D printed TPU parts, as otherwise the edges are going to be easily damaged. And in addition, this TPU canopy is not a great idea, because the stack is going to be very close to the camera, and in case you're going to crash it, it is just going to be pressed against it and it is very likely to damage your stack. In order to reduce this risk, I recommend to rotate the 3D printed TPU canopy and then the FPV camera is going to be a little bit farther from the stack. As for my setup, the total weight of my build was about 192 grams, so the Gerados frame is not a good candidate for a sub 250 grams build. In case you're going to use the 3000 kV motors, I recommend to use this GNB 1100 mAh Forest LHV battery, which should provide you between 3 to 4 minutes of flight time, and the total weight including it is 281 grams. I'm going to wrap up this video with the thrust tests of the motors and with some flight footage, 
And by the way, in case you are using the Immersion LC Rapid Fire video receiver, I recommend to set the Rapid Fire to legacy mode, as I experience rolling shutter effect when using the combination of the A02 video transmitter and the Foxeer Razer Nano Camera. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye. of yours It's what I've been looking for Stop your bomb, but it detonated.